okay. I do. <laughs> I do. Wait, okay, so you want to watch ba ba ba? I do. Or you want to watch Family Reunion? Yes. You want to watch Family Reunion? Okay. This morning I was just thinking about how much I've changed and how much I would essentially look at other people and try to imitate certain things about them to create the person that I was. And I would take little pieces of things that I, you know, was attracted to in other people and would incorporate them into myself in some way or try to attempt to be my own version of that. And for a long time, you know, as a kid and as a young adult and everything, I think that, you know, part of it was just a eagerness to learn and eagerness to explore, but it became something that I carried with me through adulthood. And it really started to confuse me about like who I actually am versus who I'm trying to be, you know? Like there's a difference. There's a difference between the person that you present yourself as and the person that you actually are. And my goal now with my own personal like growth is to just continue growing into more of who I actually am and being okay and not afraid to actually show who that is because that person is very imperfect. That person is getting on camera, <laughs> looking a mess. Um, you know, uh, that person is who birthed a baby in water without medication. <laughs> that person is someone who has a passion for helping women experience joy. Whatever that looks like for you. Uh, and not just any sort of joy. Like, I want to make it very clear, y'all. Like, I am not here saying do whatever makes you happy. Because a lot of things that make us happy are actually not good for us. And when we have too much of a good thing, it always spoils. And so a lot of the things that actually make our hearts happy are not, you know aware of consequences it may cause others not thinking about you know uh personal repercussions after the fact like happiness sometimes is just straight up dopamine and you get on a high for a moment or for a period and then you come down and then you need something to take you back there um chasing that and for me for a long time work was that for me like work in all stages of my life I'm a, I'm a very like I like to be challenged I like to feel like I accomplished something I'm I've learned this about myself so as I'm entering and in, in my 30s now I'm 30 it took me six months into 30 for me to start actually feeling like it and for just life to kind of like come at me and I mean or just like the realization of the growth. Uh, obviously like giving birth to Micah was a huge deal for me, my family, and and that definitely contributed to just like my overall transformation as a person once again. Um, I have not arrived to any place, okay? I have not made it, all right? I'm not perfect, I never will be. Um, I think that's also something that I've realized through just like deepening my faith in this season because that's honestly such a huge piece of how I was even to how, how I was even able to have the water birth experience that we had was because I really worked on my faith through my pregnancy even more than ever before 
And with that being said, um, just realizing that perfection is literally unattainable. It is literally something that equals like the ending of this life. Because if you have made it to perfection, then you're walking on the realm of the platform of Jesus, which we all know we can never do, but something close to it. If I've done everything that I'm supposed to have done, if I've achieved everything I'm supposed to achieve in life, then what else do I have on this planet to do? I don't want to be at that point. <laughs> I want to be far away from done. I am far away from done. I'm far away from being done growing. I'm far away from being perfect. I'm far away from learning everything that I need to learn, but also I'm far away from doing everything I'm supposed to do. And realizing that my life isn't just about me and my own personal happiness, quote unquote, and my own personal, like, you know, achievements, accomplishments, like taking self out of it and recognizing that, like, okay, yes, it feels good to have some personal achievements under my belt, but truly I'm here to serve. I'm here to be used. I'm here to help other people. I'm here to, you know, be a light, be a joy to people and not here to like stake my claim on anything, not here to justify who I am to anybody. Not trying to be super tough when I'm when I'm weak in certain areas. Not trying to be the cool girl when I'm actually just like very different and like I'm not like a lot of people. I spent a lot of my life trying to be like other people and I'm finally in a place where I'm legitimately like done with that. So if you feel a different energy from me, from the content, from that, it's real. It's real. Okay, so y'all, look at my hair. I used some different things today, different combination of things, and it's looking bomb. Like, what? Did we see the definition? Do we see the shine? that you could not hear this like vent in this bathroom because it's kind of loud to me, but it is what it is. We are going on date night. First date night since Micah has been born. 
We need it. Uh, we need it very badly. Y'all know how it can be with the newborn moms out there. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You and your partner can feel disconnected, okay, from the first six weeks, okay? So, <laughs> let's be honest here. So, but out, even outside of the physical intimacy aspect, okay, like not really being able to kind of give each other the same amount of energy. Really, truly, you only have 24 hours in a day. You only have so much. You have a limited amount of energy. So if there's a brand new person here, which is Micah in our case, I'm having to split that up. The, the, the little bit left over really was no left over. All my time was taken up, whether it had been with Sarai, Mark, myself, like work, you know, it was already spent. So divvying it up again, I think, is the part that it can take a while to adjust to. Um, and everybody's different, everybody's situation is different, but for us, for sure, um, it was hard, it was hard. So after a full week, y'all, a full week, I talked about this on Instagram a little while ago, full week of fighting um, and le legitimately not being able to understand like where each other is at, um, we finally got things back on track, are in a better place, and we are going on a date night and things are better. So I'm actually getting ready to do that. I am using, by the way, this is the Sunshine Skin Tint, tint the sunshine, the sunshine skin tint from Milk Makeup. Uh, I'm in the shade medium tan, which I kind of got a tan today, so I might be a little brighter, but whatever. Um, medium tan is my shade. I said that already, and that's what I'm using for my base. Uh, this is kind of low key my everyday makeup, but not even everyday because I don't even wear makeup every day. Let's just call it when I do my makeup, this is my routine. <laughs> I like to keep it pretty, yeah, this is so light on me now, dang it. Okay, I hope this don't look super crazy. If all those fails, any photos I take tonight, I will just color correct and make it make sense. Okay, that's making me feel better. This. I'm using the cream, Freestyle Cream Bronzer Cheeks Out. This is in the shade number six, chocolate. Uh, I've been using this, this cream for a minute now. It's kind of, yeah, it is like legit my go-to. Honestly, the main reason why I've used this probably so much is that it's so blendable and so like, easy to work with and i'm actually using this um i actually really love this brush from merit it came with their whole collection that they sent me like when they first launched um and i also actually speaking of merit the next thing i'm going in with is my merit perfecting complexion stick this is in the shade bisque i have like three of these i even so they sent me two of them originally and i think I had gone on vacation or something and I got darker so I needed to like get a different color so I bought three, I have three of them and I interchangeably use all three of them. This is like my highlighter like under eye brightening one that I like to use. This is Bisque. Um, but these complexion sticks are bomb. They're like multi use so you can wear them. They're kind of like the, a mix between like a cream foundation and concealer. So they're kind of like that perfect combo of both where it's super blendable, if you need a little bit more, you can still use this and be happy with how it comes together. I use it actually twice in my routine. So I do it one time just like this. And then I'll also take some underneath my brow bones too up here. And since we're up here, let's do brows too. I love, love, love this uh, brow pencil from Kosas. This is their Brow Pop Dual Action Defining Pencil. It is bomb. Obviously I have very thick 
natural eyebrows, right? But I like to use very pigmented, skinny brush, I mean brushes, pencils like this because when I do a stroke here and there, it's dark enough to actually match my eyebrow hairs without me having to really dig in or like add extra pressure or anything. It just like is that perfect support to my actual brows. Oh, and actually, we are currently still at Simone's apartment uh, because she lives near a bunch of like restaurants and she's also watching the kids. So we are very appreciative, okay, of Auntie Simone because without her, this would not be possible. <laughs> so yeah, she's watching the babies tonight, which I think it'll be great because we tired them out at the pool, okay? They better be sound asleep by like nine o'clock at the latest, but we gonna see. If it was on me and if it was on my time, they both be in the bed by 7.30, but Simone wants to keep them up and give them a movie night. And I'm like, girl, no power to ya. Cause I wouldn't do it. But that's why we love Auntie Simone. Cause she gonna do the things. She gonna, she gonna do the activities. And you know what? I don't want my powder. I don't want my powder. So the powder I'm using is from LYS Beauty. It's the Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder. This is a clean beauty brand, y'all, and it's black female owned. They're in Sephora. They just launched like a few months ago. So definitely check this brand out because everything that I've used from them has been really, really high quality. And I'm always impressed by how fine quality makeup it is with being clean, uh, without having to use any like, you know, questionable ingredients, it's still performing at the place that I want it to perform, you know? I'm going in with my powdered bronzer, also from Fenty Beauty. This is the Sunstalker Instant Warmth Bronzer. This is in Caramel Cutie. And take that, and I'm basically just going over everywhere where I put the cream, the cream bronzer. I'm setting with this bronzer. All right, so that's that. I'm gonna do this Merit Raspberry Beret Cheek Color, which is one that I really love from them. It's just such a rich, like muted purple color. So it just looks good with everything. I'm gonna use this palette from Hourglass. This is their ambient lighting edit sculpture kit. Y'all, Hourglass is a real grown woman, okay, makeup collection, makeup line, makeup brand, okay. They have skincare infused in all of their products and the quality is just, they're like my one of my favorites, honestly. Uh, they are not cheap. They are not, they, listen, you need to have your coin together if you're gonna go purchase Hourglass, okay? But I will tell you this, it will have your makeup laying on your skin like it has been infused <laughs> into your skin, not just sitting on top of your skin, but it has abused itself into your skin in such a way that it just makes everything come together. Like even now looking at where I just hit, put this highlight, the lights in here in this video is not doing it justice because it's really like in person. It just looks seamless, flawless when it's finished on your, on your skin. And I just like love that. I'm going into this bronzer. It is number four, Natural Bronze Light. And I'm just gonna use that kind of as my highlighter since it is a little bit lighter. Cause I don't want like a shocking highlight tonight. I want it to be a little bit more muted, a little bit more just bronzed kind of vibe. And this will help set the blush that we put on. 
but I am gonna go into my nose, a little bit of strobe powder, and it's this light pink one. It's just like, literally light. It's light on your face. Like, where, how you want light to hit you, that's what strobe powder does without being a glittery thing on your face. A lot of y'all have been asking me since I posted it on Instagram, it's like this little like nude situation. It is, is this the, oh yeah it is. It's actually, uh, this Gucci lipstick is the brown that I use and it is the shade Hazel, number 106. And it's like a brown like that and I just use this as like my outline. And then I'm going in with the Hourglass lipstick in the shade I'm looking. Okay, I think we done. This is how we're going out tonight. Looking real bronze, looking real tan, okay? But I'm feeling good. As far as my hair, honestly, I wish I could have redone it um, because it got a little frizzy, but at the same time, I'm not mad at it either. So I'm okay with it being this kind of look, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed um, watching me get ready. And I hope you are enjoying this vlog so far. Make sure if you are not subscribed and on notification, you do that, okay? So appreciated. But also, there's a lot of content on YouTube and I don't want you to miss out on mine, okay? So don't forget to do that. Um, and enjoy watching this vlog. Ready? Ready. Ready for date night? Ready, ready. Ready. Ready, ready.